In this video, we have said uh, take damage function in enemy, uh, enemy, okay. Whenever we hit five times, the enemy get destroyed itself, okay. So without further delay, let's dive into this topic. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna open up the uh, patrol enemy script, okay. So we're gonna open up the enemy script, basically patrol enemy script. And we're gonna make a separate function. Before, we have to give health to our enemy. And we're gonna make it integer. And we're gonna call it something like max health okay that will be one two three four one integer value okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna assign max health okay over here so we're gonna make it public okay uh, to see in inspector and we also can adjust for that's why so we're gonna make it public that will be integer like whole numbers one two three four and we're gonna call it something like max health i guess or health and by default you can set any value you can give health something like five four three two one i'm gonna give something like five okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna we're gonna create a take damage function okay we're gonna create a take damage function and we're gonna call it through another script so we need to make it public okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna go to down over here update function and we're gonna make it public sorry public void we have to type void for function and we're gonna call it something like take damage i guess and we're gonna pass parameter okay in we're gonna call it damage by the way we're gonna replace this damage parameter by one unit or something like that so that's why okay so what we're gonna do we're gonna subtract from our max health minus equal damage uh, okay damage let's suppose we call this for the first time if we call this take damage function take damage function will subtract from our max health as you can see max health minus equal damage uh, uh, let's suppose damage parameter we passed one so if we call the uh, call this take damage function for the first time so max health as you can see we uh, by default we set five unit so five five minus one if we pass damage parameter one so this will be five minus one if we call the first uh, for the first time so this will be four so the max health will be four because um, five minus one will be four if we call the first time let's suppose if we call the second time so four minus one will be three if we call the third time uh, three minus will be two if we call uh, 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 fourth time okay uh, so two minus one will be one if we call uh, fifth time one minus one will be zero so it will hit zero and if we call sixth time so 0 minus 1 which will be minus 1 which will go to negative value a value so what are we gonna do we're gonna restrict that we're gonna check if the max health is already 0 then we're gonna not gonna call this line okay this line will subtract from our max health by one unit but it's up to you damage parameter pass any value you like I'm gonna pass one so that's why I am just subtracting from our max health by one unit if we call the for the first time so 5 minus 1 will be 4 so if the health is already zero so zero minus one and if we call this function take damage function take damage function will subtract from our max cell by one unit as you can see as a damage parameter i will pass one so for uh, zero minus one will be minus one which will go to negative value so we're gonna we're gonna restrict that we're gonna check if the max health okay if max health is already is lesser than or equal to zero so okay if it's that is the case what we're gonna do we're gonna return we're not gonna call this line okay so what we have to type we're gonna type return okay basically after return this line won't get call okay so that's the logic so if the max health already became zero okay so we just return we're not gonna calling this line underline okay so uh, as you know 0 minus 1 will be minus 1 which will be minus 1 as you know which is negative value so over here we're checking if the uh, max is already 0 then we're not go, uh, calling this uh, line so it will start in this zero the max health will stack in this zero and if we call this uh, take damage function for the first time max health we by default set five unit so and if we pass damage parameter one okay as a one so five minus one will be four so if we call the for the first time so the max health become four so it will just subtract from our max max health whenever we call this take damage function okay uh, that's why we made it public we're gonna call this function through another script okay that's why so control s one your keyboard to save this and head again to unity okay we're gonna call the uh, call that function uh, through our uh, player attack okay <coughs> and we also need to assign our assign our 
uh, layer to patrol enemy layer something like that so just wait for to compile okay just wait for to compile and if i open up the player attack script okay player attack script over here i'm gonna double click it to open up in visual studio so over here as you can see over here we calling this attack function through our, our animation event whenever whenever the player gets attack condition uh, attack animation okay so as you can see we are calling that attack function over here as you can see over here when, uh, whenever we just go to attack animation we calling that attack function okay so what attack function doing over here firstly it uh, firstly it just creating okay it's a physics 2d dot overlap circle over here will create a circle around attack position we have also assigned the attack position and we also have specified the radius of attack as you can see 1.2 but we made it public we adjust in the inspector by default uh, we said it something like 1.7 i guess i saw okay and layer marks so basically which layer we want to target as a layer mark, we just only pass the enemy layer so what we're gonna do we're gonna also pass the patrol enemy layer okay so we're gonna target those enemies okay so if the circle is colliding with this layer marks and we assign it a layer marks as enemy and we also gonna add another layer for patrol enemy okay so if the circle is colliding with the uh, enemy layer or patrol enemy layer so this function over here will be true so the hit over here will be true so what are we gonna do if hit is true what are we gonna do we're gonna subtract we're gonna call that take damage function because we are uh, the circle is colliding with our patrol enemy okay the circle is colliding with our patrol enemy basically we are attacking we just go to goes to attack uh, animation so what we're gonna do we're gonna call that take damage function okay and take damage function as you know it will just subtract from our max health by some unit we're gonna assign over here so what we're gonna do firstly we have to go uh, get hit okay hit and we're gonna get the component as you know if we go to patrol enemy script we have attach this patrol enemy script by this patrol enemy script enemy script we're gonna access that take damage function as you know we set up the take damage function in our uh, patrol enemy escape as you can see okay so we're gonna call that function okay over here so we're gonna get the script first we need to get the script first okay uh, patrol enemy okay patrol enemy and then you have to make this first packet and then dot and over here uh, over there we have created the take damage function as you can see we are able to access that so we're gonna call okay you have to make this first packet as a damage parameter okay we're gonna uh, we have to pass the damage parameter okay i'm gonna pass one uh, so uh, from our back cell we just only gonna subtract by one unit you can pass any value you like some uh, suppose you pass two okay so max health as you know which is five so five minus two uh, will be three if we call the first time so it will goes to three okay the max health uh, will be a patrol enemy three if you pass two but i'm gonna pass one so if we call the take damage for uh, function for the first time so five minus one will be four so that's why i'm gonna pass one okay so we are calling this function so over here physics 2d dot overlap circle as you can see if this it will create the circle from our attack position around the attack position and we have also specified the attack radius as you can see we can adjust in the inspector that's why we made it public and also the layer marks we made it public uh, we can also we're gonna also add the patrol enemy layer okay to layer marks so which uh, so basically layer marks over here which layer actually you want to target so we're gonna target the enemy as well as patrol enemy layer so that's why uh, so the uh, so the circle over here if the circle uh, over here collide with our patrol enemy or enemy layer so this function over here will be true so the hit over here will be true if if hit is true so what we are doing we just uh, getting the component or uh, as a component which is a patrol enemy script as we know we gonna obviously hit uh, we're gonna obviously hit the patrol enemy okay if we assign this layer marks as well with the patrol enemy so we're gonna hit that patrol enemy so what would what we are doing we're just getting the patrol enemy script and then from there we are just calling this take damage function as you saw uh, if we call for the first time as you know by default we set patrol enemy health uh, five units so if we call the for the 
if the if the player uh, collide if the circle collide with enemy layer uh, sorry patrol enemy layer or enemy layer so so take damage function will call okay and take damage function will subtract from our max health by one unit as you can see so if we call the for the first time if the if the player uh, attack uh, attack patrol and me for the first time so it will uh, call that take damage function and take damage function will subtract one unit from our max health uh, which was five so five minus one will be four if we if the if we hit second time the patrol enemy okay so four minus one will be three so it will somehow goes to zero it will go to zero so control s on your keyboard to say this and we also need to assign okay we also need to go to uh, also need to go uh, player script okay player attack script we also need to assign uh, our patrol enemy layer or else it will not target that layer as you can see we are in patrol enemy patrol enemy so what we need we're gonna create create an another uh, we're gonna create a layer okay so select the patrol enemy we're gonna as you can see in the ins in inspector right over here select a default so what we're gonna do we're gonna uh, click on that and add layer uh, okay and we're gonna call it something like patrol enemy enemy something like that patrol enemy layer okay we're gonna call this something like this and save it and head again to patrol enemy game object once again and say assign that layer as patrol enemy layer as you named it okay uh, so we're gonna do know this object only and then after doing it overrides hilt apply all to change in the prefab as well and we're gonna go to player and we're gonna as you can see layer marks we just only have chosen the enemy layer so what we're gonna do we're gonna choose uh, also the patrol enemy layer so what we have to do over here as you can see down okay as you can see down patrol enemy layer so we're gonna also choose this so it's now uh, it's uh, the circle will target the enemy as well as patrol enemy layer okay so uh, so we have assigned our patrol enemy as a patrol enemy layer as you can see so it will target those uh, things okay so those uh, enemies okay and we have specified the radius over here as you can see so what we're gonna do i'm gonna move the player over here down and if we hit play uh, if we hit play and if we select the patrol enemy okay if the player just uh, goes to attack or if the player attack the enemy enemy will take damage by one unit uh, and we are calling that take damage function as you seen so if i select the patrol enemy as you can see by default we set max health by five unit so if we for attack enemy patrol enemy for the first time max health will be four okay just wait for to compile so as you can see it's become four if we uh, attack second time it's become three if we third time as you can see two if we uh, fourth time as you can see one if we call uh, fifth as you can see max health goes to zero okay so what we gonna do we're gonna whenever the uh, this enemy uh, max health goes to zero we're gonna destroy that we're gonna destroy that before destroying we're gonna uh, we're gonna create a effect of destroying or destroy something like that so what we're gonna do we're gonna find uh, if you uh, i guess i do have or not so so we're gonna do it in the next video okay for this now so if you are new to my channel then subscribe it for future tutorials and uh, if you want to support me you can support me on patreon.com and if you like this video then give a thumbs up and share it with your friends 